As a photographer, one of the things I really enjoy is being able to tell my story with my photos. And of course, Lightroom Mobile helps me keep everything organized and visible on my mobile devices. But what if I can actually tell more of a story, not only with the pictures, but with video? And that's exactly what I can do with Lightroom Mobile and its integration with Adobe Premiere Clip. So I've got a collection here of a photo shoot that I did a, a little while back on an Egyptian themed shoot. And one of the things that's really cool is not only the ability to show the finished photos, but kind of a behind the scenes of what was going on during that day. People really like to see what, how those photos came to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the share button in the upper right hand corner. And one of the new options in uh, Lightroom Mobile is the ability to go right to Adobe Premiere Clip. So I'm gonna say create a video and clip. It'll take me over to Premiere Clip and it will start bringing in the photos and syncing them to the soundtrack that it picks by default. So if I like that or if I wanna see what that sounds like, I can hit play and I can see that it's syncing those photos right to that soundtrack. Now, you know, it picked a, you know, a random order for the photos or picked the, you know, capture date for the photos, which that may work out, it may not. But there's a button right here that lets me rearrange the order of those photos in the order that I want them in. So for example, I might want that one to be first, kind of telling the story. Uh, people always like to see the camera settings of a particular shot. So let's see the settings before we show the shot. And then of course we can go in and add these final ones to the end. All right, so now that I've rearranged them, I can tap done. And if I like that soundtrack, I can use it or I can tap replace soundtrack and choose a different one. I have some royalty free options here in the Premiere Clip themes, or I can go to my own playlist, albums, artists, and songs to pick my own music. But I'll stick to the royalty free music, that way I know I won't get in trouble later. And <laughs> this way I can go ahead and so, for example, and pick something like Particle. Uh, I'll add Particle in. It replaces it, I can tap play, and if this is all I needed, I'm done. I'm ready to go. I've got my video, which I can just tap the share button in the upper right hand corner and publish it and share it and let it be hosted by Adobe, save it to the camera roll, or even share it right to YouTube. However, what if I wanted to take it further? Well, I see the option to send it to Adobe Premiere Pro on the desktop, and that's great, but I can even take it further while I'm still here on mobile. There's a little film strip icon, and what this film strip icon allows me to do is convert to the freeform editor that we know and love from the early days of Premiere Clip. So I can go ahead and convert to that editor. Now, everything's still synced to the music track, but I can go in and make changes that are more custom to what I need. So for example, if I wanna add a title at the beginning, I can. And uh, I can go ahead and, of course, type the title either using the on-screen keyboard, but since I'm on my iPad Pro, I'll use the keyboard that uh, keyboard cover that I have. And so I'm gonna just type in an Egyptian themed photo shoot. And once I've got that in, we'll go ahead and uh, tap. And of course I want that at the beginning. Oh, you know what? <laughs> maybe I don't want it at the beginning. I kind of like the idea of maybe the first uh, image is going to come up and then we're going to see the title and then we're going to see the next image. So if I wanted to put it at the beginning, I could just easily drag and drop it. But maybe I kind of like that as the second one. But I don't need it to be five seconds long. So I can just tap on it and just lower the time. And these beat markers are to the beat of the music. So I can still keep things in sync. So I can make that a one second title or a little bit longer, uh, like a three second title. And um, of course I can go in and add some more uh, attributes or things to this. So if I tap the plus sign, I can go grab videos and photos from my uh, device. I can add more photos from Lightroom Mobile. I can take a new picture, new photos. I can of course bring in things from Creative Cloud and even create uh, additional titles. And this is all great to be able to do this right on my um, iPad or my Android device. And of course I can even do it on my iPhone as well. So from here, what I want to do is uh, go in and uh, we can tap that I want to fade in from black and I want to fade out to black. 
and I can even put in cross dissolves between the, uh, between the clips. If you really want to get into uh, the way the overall color looks, you can even change the look to um, a custom look or some of the defaults, similar to themes that you might see on social media, but more importantly, being able to even grab your own looks from things like Adobe Capture. All right, so we've got everything in place, the photo motion, we're not gonna do cross dissolves. I can tap the full screen icon here and we can kind of see the way this is gonna look. Yeah, I like that title coming in second. And there we are. So now that my video is done, I can just tap the share icon. And again, I can publish and share that using uh, Adobe's Creative Cloud at no additional cost or no cost to me at all. And I can uh, save to the camera roll and use this video any way that I want. So you got to check out Premiere Clip. You got to see how Clip can work and uh, use your stills right from Lightroom Mobile, use videos and combine them together. So with that said, take care. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.